Thanks for watching our daily 4 News Now coronavirus report. I'm Robin Nance. Three more people in Spokane County have tested positive for COVID-19, bringing the total here to 372. The virus has killed 22 people in Spokane County and 834 across the state. The highest rate of coronavirus cases in any county on the U.S. West Coast is Yakima County. In North Idaho, there are no new confirmed cases to report. That total in Kootenai County sits at 61. The state has more than 2,000 confirmed cases, but testing is severely lacking there, according to health officials. Across the country, more than 67,000 people have now died from COVID-19. At least eight vaccines for COVID-19 are in human trials right now. The pandemic is also wreaking havoc financially. J. Crew is the first big retail casualty of the pandemic, expected to file for bankruptcy protection today. Other big names such as Neiman Marcus and J.C. Penney are also struggling. There are new signs of hope in the global race for a COVID-19 vaccine. A lead researcher on Oxford University's trial is predicting people will need annual vaccinations like the flu shot. If proven safe and effective, Oxford's vaccine could be available as early as September, months ahead of other trials. But the speedy creation of vaccines can pose potential problems. Dr. Paul Offit says with every new medical breakthrough comes a learning curve. And sometimes that has a human price with side effects and potentially deaths level of uncertainty are health experts willing to accept in rolling out a vaccine? We're willing to, to accept a certain level of uncertainty because the benefit is so great. Of the eight vaccines in human trials worldwide, two are happening here in the U.S. We now have a better idea of what it will take to reopen the economy in Washington, but there is no strict timeline. The governor only said each of the four phases will span at least three weeks. Today, some construction will resume while outdoor recreation like golf will be allowed starting tomorrow. More than 100 parks, trails and boating sites across the state will reopen tomorrow, too. You will only be able to visit some state parks during daytime hours and parking spaces will be limited. All beaches and parks along the gorge will still be closed. In the second phase of the governor's plan, those beaches and campgrounds will reopen. If things go as planned, Hair salons and restaurants will open by June in the second phase. The number of people allowed inside would be restricted, though. Then hopefully another three weeks later, phase three will begin. That is when bars, gyms, movie theaters and libraries can reopen with capacity restrictions. And finally, phase four. The best case scenario is that will be sometime in July. That's when nightclubs and live sporting events return. Governor Jay Inslee says he understands the frustration with how lengthy this process is, but believes it is the safest route. Set forth a very good phased approach to reopen the entire economy in a way that's safe and gives people the hope that they need. Spokane County elected officials have been pushing for a regional approach to reopening, but Inslee didn't include our county on his list of 10. Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward says she is disappointed with that, but is still encouraged by the governor's plan. It's extremely helpful to have that guidance because we've been working on the plan for weeks now, just coming up with what we think might work. But to have the governor's guidance is going to be incredibly helpful as we work through the weekend. Mayor Woodward says she is set to speak with Governor Inslee tomorrow. For the first time in history today, U.S. Supreme Court justices are set to hear arguments by conference call and the public can listen. Among the cases they'll hear by phone over the next two weeks are three on May 12th about subpoenas from prosecutors seeking President Trump's financial records, which could yield a politically explosive decision this summer as the presidential race ramps up. Spirit Airlines now the latest to put rules in place requiring passengers to wear face masks. That policy takes effect in a week. Starting today, passengers on United, Delta and JetBlue flights all have to wear masks. Also today, shoppers are being welcomed back at some Macy stores across the country. 68 are set to reopen in states that are loosening their coronavirus restrictions. The head of Macy says he expects to have all of the company's stores reopen within six weeks if infection rates taper off. There is a new website to help people with mental health challenges during the shutdown. The Pandemic Crisis Services Coalition website helps connect those in need with appropriate mental health resources. You can search the site by state, contact method, type of support needed, and categories. Topics include anxiety, substance or domestic abuse, and depression. The website also has articles to aid in coping with the impact of the pandemic, as well as information tailored to frontline workers. That website is right there on your screen. 
Well, no blooms day yesterday, but the spirit of the race lives on even without the official race. A number of runners, as you see, still hit the streets yesterday celebrating this 43 year old tradition. Organizers postponed the race last month in response to the pandemic, but still Bloomies hit the course. Many completed the typical route with a few fans encouraging them along the way. I started 34 years ago and then with my entire family and I'm the only one that still does it. But we've added spouses, nieces, nephews over the years. Organizers have delayed the race until September 20th this year. If you already register for this year's race, you will ma uh, maintain your entry. If you can't make that date, you can save your registration for 2021. Thanks for taking the time to stay informed with 4 News Now, your local coronavirus headquarters. We hope you stay safe and healthy. Have a great day.